Back on Get Up with my NBA Countdown compadres in the house, and our next place to stop is this. Embiid turns, fires for the win. Joel Embiid and the Sixers take game three here in Toronto. And the crowd is silent. Everybody, mouth shut. Not a peep out of anybody in this building right now. That's Kate Scott and Ala Abdelnabi, uh, Abdelnabi from the NBC Sports Philadelphia. And, and I will let you guys who picked um, – Stephen, I'll start with you. You, you. you gave Embiid your MVP vote. It's obviously too late for that now, but he had the MVP moment last night. We talked so much about Philly leading into this series. How about them now up 3 zip? Well, listen, I got to give a lot of credit where credit is due. I think Joel Embiid has been sensational. And I got to give my man Will Bond, the godfather, credit because he's been raving about this kid, Maxi. Uh, talk to the Philadelphia 76ers as I have. And what, you talk, what you're talking about is the elevation and the progress of a kid that, that, that's just astronomical, uh, that Doc Rivers rides him hard just to prepare him for these moments in the postseason. Been riding him hard all season long, been on him, been on him. And this guy is one of the hardest workers. I had one coach tell me, if you find somebody else that works hard on their game, let me know. Because mm -hmm. nobody works harder than this kid, Maxi, on improving his game. And he's still learning the NBA game. Yet he goes out there and he performs on a night in, night out basis on both ends of the floor. And that's taking a load of pressure off of the, the one and only James Harden. We expected that James Harden would need to average about 25 to 30 and put up buckets. This was his time to show that he was that man for Joel Embiid and he could help take them to the promise line. Well, guess what? Maxi has shown up. And not only has he shown up to help Embiid in the Philadelphia 76ers, he's done tremendously well for James Harden because now some of the focus has been taken off of James Harden because he's not required to do as much as we thought he would be required to do all because of Maxi. So the Philadelphia 76ers are no joke, and they could end up advancing very far. We shall see uh, Miami, but, but this series is over in Toronto, and we know that Miami is in all, in all likelihood is next. All right, so Harden fouled out of that game late last night. And, and Jalen, quickly, let me come to you just on the play itself. Doc Rivers gets questioned a lot, but we broke it down earlier and Seth Greenberg raving about it. That was a great play they called up in that huddle. So it's a great play as a Monday morning quarterback. Mm. As a perimeter player in this league, trust me, when your coach draws up a play for your center <laughs> to shoot a three, as a game-winning shot, that better go in. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, not even from a coaching standpoint for, or the 14 guys standpoint, that's Tobias Harris setting a staggered screen for his center. Mm -hmm. So Joel Embiid is having a magical year. It was a terrific game-winning shot. And as Stephen A. mentioned, this series is basically over. It can't, I can't wait to see how they perform in the next series. So, Wilbon, that really is my question to you. It's one thing to beat Toronto, and they are decimated. No Scotty Barnes and the rest of that. Do the Sixers look like they have cured all the things that illed them and are they ready to make the deep run we wonder if they can do it I you know I, I like the deep run part of that question Greeny but you never fix everything I mean it's game to game you never fix everything you're going up against a new challenge defensively if we're looking forward as the guys just said uh, with Miami that's a whole different level defensively and if those guys are healthy we saw what Jimmy Butler did the other night um, so but Joel and B to your point earlier he MVP moment indeed. Like Stephen A. I think Stephen A. I think we got this right. I think I think it's going to be proven as great as Joker is. Embiid's been doing this all season. He did it the whole time. And I understand that 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 Joker was missing his two best running mates. He hadn't seen them yet. But you know, Embiid was missing Ben Simmons too. Until for two thirds of the season, there was mm -hmm. nobody in that role. It was just a void. So Embiid, to me, in some ways, didn't get enough credit for that. But the way Embiid's been playing, Greeny, yeah, they're a threat. They're a serious threat when Maxi playing that way and pressure being off Harden. Harden doesn't have to be Hall of Fame great every night. Yeah. Like we probably anticipated he would need to be because, as Stephen A. outlined, the emergence of Maxi, a two-way guy you can count on. All right, I got four minutes left, and I will say this. If you know Michael Wilbon, you know he doesn't get up this early in Arizona <laughs> just because he loves the rest of this group. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.